Oh, what to do, it's your boy Mara back again with another reaction. Before we hop into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all of my social media in the description box. Also, check out my debut single, Handle It, out now on all streaming platforms. Link also in the description box. Let's hop into it. Today, we got Lakia featuring Young Blue with Perfect official music video. Um, I believe this was my favorite song off her last project. I can't recall how it sounds just yet, but we're gonna play it and you know, tap in. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. This was definitely my favorite song off her project. It was cute. The female go. The, only, the one thing I did, um, it's not even a critique, but it just made me, I guess, think of another song when I first heard it was um, Cousin, I think his name is Cousin Stiz. He has the song with um, Young Miami, Perfect, Die From a Bitch, I'm Perfect. Everybody know, I, I'll hold a brick for you, daddy. That, 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 for you, that, you know, that song. This hook is essentially the same as that hook. So that's the only thing that, you know, but it's still a cute song. <laughs> oh, she like on a college campus? Okay. Oh, wait. You know what I was just thinking? And this is so random, because QC, because, okay. Because Young Miami's obviously signed to QC with the City Girls, and then Lakia is, but this video is reminding me of Leighton Green's Can't Leave Him Alone. I mean, she's also signed to QC, because that, that was her whole video theme was the college. It looks like the same location type of thing. Hmm. Okay. I like that outfit. I like the pants. Those pants are cute. Lakia's flow, one thing about it is it's real like uh, silky. It just flows real smooth. It's like water. I don't really get him as an artist, to be honest, because like, it's like he doesn't sing war rap or or it's like singing and rapping, but it's not, I don't know. I don't wanna talk over it, but yeah, I just, like, I know he has that song, whatever, but to be honest, I never listened to the song, the big song he has prior to Chloe Bailey covering it. Um, Mine Still, yeah, like, is that the song with Drake? I don't know, to be honest, I never listened, I think I probably heard like a little clip of it and was like, mm, like whatever, I never went up for it. Um, cause he, 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 uh, like he doesn't, he can't sing. And then like, he's not a singer, but he kind of like puts words together like a rapper. So it's kind of like a rap singing type of thing, but I don't know. But Chloe Bailey completely obliterated his um, song. And so I can only listen to hers. And so hearing him on this too, it's just reminding me of like that same type of thing. Like, mm, I mean, the flow is cool and stuff like that, but it's the singing for me. Like it's it's a no dog. So I would have preferred somebody else to be on this or not or him not at all. But you know, whatever. And that yellow hair is a fucking mess. Keep that on. That is a mess. That is disgusting. Why your hair look like that? Why is it that color? Yeah, I could have actually done without him, for sure. Yeah. 
Eh, okay. I mean, this the song is cool. The key is a pretty girl. The video went absolutely nowhere for me. It just was very one note, no excitement. I don't know, like, I'm really trying to just really get into the Kia. Cause she can rap and she's pretty, but it's just nothing about her or her music that just grabs me. Just, mm, mm just really blah, just there. So I don't know, but if you like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, check out my SoundCloud, all of my social media in the description box. I'll see you on the next one.